Hey guys, welcome back to Dark Angel Beauty. Thank you so much for tuning in today. So we're back with you uh, with another tutorial today since we have nothing but free time at the moment. So we are uh, trying to pump out as many tutorials as I promised um, while I was ordering makeup a lot and then I wasn't delivering on. So here we are. Um, this is actually, this is a palette I picked up at Christmas time. It is the 39L Hit The Lights palette from Morphe. Um, I believe it was like their Christmas holiday release palette. And I'll show you guys what the inside looks like and then kind of explain why I think it actually was perfect for the season that it was delivered in. So this is the inside of the palette. If you can see, it's actually divided into four different sections of eyeshadow palettes. So they're all in one, but they divided them into different schemes. You've got one, two, three, four, and then you have a row of highlighters as well. I actually went ahead and did my highlighter because I was not thinking. So I did my highlighter already. I used a different Morphe palette because once again, just wasn't thinking. But um, yeah, so you get this, this whole big bundle. I think they were selling it for like $42, but when I picked it up, it was on sale 50% off at Ulta and I got it for like 21. So it was a great deal. A lot of colors included with it. Morphe kind of has like hit or miss reviews from what I've seen, but I actually really like them as a brand. So I'm always very excited to pick up a new one of their palettes. Um, and then I believe the idea was, so this is a little, like the little protective sheet on it. I believe the idea was they took um, each one of like their big designers that work on their team and they gave them each eight colors to create their own little mini palette within this giant palette. So the top one, which had all the reds, that was code red. Then you've got Smoke Show, that was the one with the browns and the really deep glitter pigments. You have um, After Party, which is the one that included those neon colors. And then you've got uh, Holographic, which includes a lot of like kind of what I would call subdued colors, but a lot of glitter pigments in those as well. So there's a ton to work with in this palette. Just so many different colors uh, that you can make really cool eye looks with, a lot of different ideas that I've got going on in my head, but I'm really bored and I'm not going anywhere. So if I mess it up, then it'll basically just be on the internet where everybody can see it and uh, nobody will actually see me in real life. So what does it matter? But I'm thinking I'm gonna use some of the neon colors and then some of the really nice glitter pigments to work with this one. So yeah, um, uh, before we jump into the whole shebang, if you have not subscribed to the channel, I really would like you to do so. We're pretty fun here. And uh, yeah, we're always looking for amazing new people to add the, to the Dark Angel family. So please consider hitting the uh, subscribe and the notification bell. So that way you can see every time we upload new content. Um, and then uh, yeah, without further ado, let's jump into this bad boy. So going with the neon idea. The first one that's jumping out with me is this giant like bright neon yellow. And like I said, I'm not really trying to uh, censor myself right now. I'm just kind of experimenting uh, with a camera on. So that way, if I mess up, everybody in the world can uh, enjoy my uh, failures. So I'm gonna take a really nice blending brush that I still have not cleaned. I've been saying that for like the last four tutorials that I need to clean my brushes and I still have yet to deliver on that as well. So here we are. Um, but I'm going to take the yellow. I'm gonna get a good little bit on the brush right there, my dirty brush, yes, yes, yes. And then I'm just going to do a nice big dusting. It's actually a lot more subdued than I was expecting it to be. Um, could that be my dirty brush? It could be, yes, but I don't think it is, but it could be, so I will throw that out there. Um, so it's not like super harsh. It's very actually muted for a yellow. And I'm kind of loving it. There is a ton of fallout, which I will point out. I am not a huge fan of palettes that have a ton of fallout. I don't think anybody really is. So just um, for like the purpose of taking note, I meant before we started um, filming to look up and see if you can still actually order this palette because it's been so long since they released it. I don't know the answer to that. Um, I will try and remember to look it up. Have Nikki put it in there if it's still available or not, but I um, I can't promise because I literally 10 seconds ago was like, I'm gonna look it up and then I forgot. So I, clearly I have the memory of like um, a, a small rat or something that doesn't probably have a good memory. Rats probably have a better memory than I do. I don't know. I'm not trying to insult the rat community, but uh, yeah, I don't have a good many memories. So that is what I was going with. I am liking the shade though a lot. It's um, like I said, it's kind of blending out a lot more muted than I thought it was going to, but I'm okay with that. Cause that means that I can do a lot more with um, the look that I'm trying to create. So yes, so that is the yellow. I am bouncing back and forth between like eight colors and that I want to go with next. Um, I like the green, I like the pink, I like the red, I like the other red, I like the other red. So there's a lot going on in my mind right now, but it's gonna be probably one of those options. Um debating. Let's, 
I'm gonna go with red and I'm gonna go with red for the sheer purpose of one, I love reds and two, there are a lot of reds in this palette. So that way I should have a good uh, ability to work with different colors and try and make like a really cool look. So I'm going to use the red that is in the After Party, which is that neon palette that I was talking about. And it is called Go All Night. That is the name of that shade. And the yellow one was called Out Late. And I'm gonna do that. Oh, it's actually a lot more orange than I thought it was gonna be. That is like really pigmented. Holy cow. That is so pigmented. I really like that one. I really like that one a lot. Wow, okay. So before I go on, I'm just gonna blend it in a little bit. Wow, I'm a huge fan of that shade. Oh, I love that. I kind of, I kind of guessed that was gonna be one of my favorite shades in the palettes because I, I know what I like and what I gravitate towards. And I was hoping like, as long as it has good payoff, then I'm gonna really like that color and it did. So that was like a pleasant surprise, not surprising that I liked it, but it was just like a, you know, I'm always worried every time I try a new something that I'm, I'm not gonna, like it as much as I hoped I would. And that one definitely delivers on the hope that I had for it. Okay, once again, let me, let me uh, go in there and blend it out. And it seems to be blending out really nicely too. A lot of times, like when you kind of do what I do, which is just put it in messily and then hope for the best with your blending, it does not work out that well, but I'm a big fan of that right now. Okay, so I am now gonna do a little bit of stuff on my under eye. I'm gonna use the same brush that I used for the um, Go All Night shade, but I'm gonna go up here to the Code Red palette. And I'm actually gonna go with Hot Stuff, which is like the middle red shade all the way at the top. So it's kind of like a mix between like a brighter orange red and um, a maroon. So it should still be bright, but not like as like, ooh, you know what I'm saying? That probably didn't make sense, but I thought it did, so. I actually went all the way up with it, which I don't normally do, but I wanted to give it kind of like almost like a triangular look, if that makes sense. Once again, I'm just going in and blending it out just a little bit. I'm gonna go just a little bit more angled with it. Yeah, I'm a big fan of this, I really am. It's blending out really nicely, it's packing on pretty nicely, it's going in the spots that I'm like trying to get it at. So I'm gonna do the other eye and try and make it match as, uh, to the best of my ability. And then, uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and do some glitter shades on the eyelid, cause uh, you know, that's how I always like to roll. And we're gonna see how this little bad boy all comes together. Cause I'm, I'm actually very, very happy with how it is right now. Like I said, I normally like Morphe palettes. I see a lot of people say that they're not, they have complaints about it or they don't necessarily like different things. And some people love it. So it just depends on, everybody's preference is definitely different. But I have never really just been disappointed by any of their um, their products. And I have a good number of their different palettes and things like that. So I normally try and pick up when they release new stuff, I try and pick it up. Um, there's been a, a good amount of stuff that I've been really, really excited about getting and really enjoyed. And um, I think their price point is also very affordable. So that's also something, cause I'm always looking for really decent makeup that is at an affordable price point or on sale or whatever. Basically the cheaper I can get a good product, the more I can buy other stuff. So that's kind of how I always look at it. Yeah, so I'm liking it so far. I definitely need to blend it out just a little bit more. And I'm just going back in with the yellow because the yellow really is very subdued, honestly, with how bright it is in the pan. It is a very subdued, very neutral, good blending shade. And I'm kind of excited about that. Like there's part of me that's like, oh, I wish it were a little bit brighter, but there's also a huge part of me that's like, because it is so workable, I can use it a lot more frequently, which I really like. Okay, so this is what it's looking like so far. I'm going to go in now. I really wanna use this glitterly, glit glitterly, this glitterly, um, this glittery silver shade, but I just don't think it's gonna go with the aesthetic that I've created. So I'm actually gonna go in with the glitter gold shade that's right above it. It's not really what I'm wanting to do, but it's what I'm going to do. So uh, yeah, I'm just committing to it. Um, I'm gonna use my finger because I don't like that application process, but I found with like these loose glitter shades, it normally works a lot better. And oh, wow, that is like, oh, immediately that was just like, yep, here I am. I love it. Oh, I'm into it. So this, now this is why I'm gonna say I feel like this was a really great um, holiday release because I feel like there's a lot you could do with um, eye looks for holiday parties, for New Year's Eve, for just a bunch of different stuff. So I really understood why they waited or why they planned this release when they did because this is just a, 
there's so many fun colors and there's so many great shimmers and I really think you could just do a ton of stuff with this for like, I really go back to New Year's Eve because New Year's Eve, I always think glitter and bright colors and there's so many of both of those included in this palette that I, I totally understand why they did what they did and released it when they did. Um, so that's the glitter going on in this eye. That's a lot of glitter. I don't know, I'm hoping on camera it shows up as well as it does because it's like, it's, it's like, feel like a piece of gold. It's great. I love it. So I'm very excited about that. I'm going to do the other eye and I am going to do a little bit of highlight on my inner corner and on my brow bone. And then I'll put on mascara because we can't really tell how much we like it until we see it with mascara. And then, uh, yeah, then we'll wrap this whole little shenanigan up. So, okay. So I did finish up the glitter on the inner corner. I did do a little bit down low below my eye and I really like how that looks. I'm now actually gonna take one of the highlighting shades. I'm gonna go in with um, Magic Hour, which is like this kind of subdued gold, because I think that'll look well with, that'll work well with like what we've created already. And I'm going to do that on my brow bone and I'm gonna do that on my inner corner, just to add just a little bit of highlight to the inner corner as well, draw attention to it. And I just have to say, as I'm finishing up, I really am a big fan of this palette. Um, I will definitely do research and look to see if it's still available because I highly recommend it. If it is, um, like I said, I had really liked it over Christmas, but I was trying hard not to like buy myself too much crap because we knew we were like gonna try and buy a house and a lot of other things. So I was trying really to be good, but <laughs> I went to go pick up a gift for somebody and it was 50% off and I was like, you know what? 20 bucks, hard to beat. So I did wind up picking it up and I'm very glad I did because I really like all of these really pretty colors. All right, so that's what the eye is looking like right now. I'm gonna do one quick little just medley blend just to get it all kind of cohesive and hopefully make it look not choppy or segmented anywhere. And then I'm gonna do some mascara and we're gonna see how the final product winds up looking. Okay, so that is the final eye look. I'm a huge fan of it. I really like this palette. I think for the price point, especially what I paid for it, I think 42, I, I think it's 42, it might've been 39. I can't remember. I wish I could, it was so long ago. That may be a little bit steep, but even still, it is a good quality. I only say it's steep because I literally only shop sales and deals. I very rarely buy a palette, even when it's new release at its full price point. So that's why I'm very hesitant to say that's a good price for it. Honestly, the number of colors you're getting for it, the quality of the colors, I think it is actually a good price point. But for what I paid for it, which was, I believe 21, I'm going with 21. It was either 21 or 22 or three, but it was right in that range definitely worth it. So I really, really like this palette. Again, it is the 39L Hit The Lights palette from Morphe. It is just beautiful in terms of packaging. And then when you open it up and you see all these lovely shades, you just, you get a good amount of stuff for it. So I'm really excited. I really like it. I'm sorry it took me so long to film this, but you know what? We're making up for lost time right now. So I hope you guys all are staying safe and healthy. I know this is a crazy time and a lot of people are scared. Just try and remain as positive as possible. I'm I'm praying for everybody and I'm hoping for all of this to kind of um, calm down and, and everything to go back to um, an even better normal than what we were used to because I think this is also a really good time of like, you know, self-reflection and us all improving and trying to make the world a better place. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Like I said before, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do that as well. We definitely want you to be a part of the Dark Angel family. We're really loving and supportive here. We're trying to be as open and honest with you guys as possible. And I just wanna make a nice loving environment for you guys to come and get away from everything. So um, yeah, if that appeals to you, definitely hit that subscribe button. Other than that, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and you stay girly with a dark twist.